Go back to, let's solve this question. The question says us, uh, let Z1 and Z2 be two roots of equation Z square plus PZ plus Q equal to zero, while the coefficients P and Q may be complex numbers. Let A and B represent Z1 and Z2 in the complex plane. And if angle AOB is equal to alpha, make it alpha, not A, which is not equal to zero, and OA is equal to OB, where O is the origin, we need to prove P square is equal to four Q cosine square alpha upon two, right? So the given equation we have Z square plus it is P Z plus Q equal to zero. Now Z1 and Z2 are the roots. So the sum of Z1 plus Z2 will be minus P and Z1 multiplied with Z2, that's product of roots will be Q, okay? Now, you see, let's draw these two lines. Okay. यहाँ पे मार कर दे इसको origin O और इसको मान लेते हैं complex number A यहाँ पे इसको मान लेते हैं complex number B ठीक है जी तो complex number A बोले तो Z1 B बोले तो Z2 okay now what we will do is यहां से ना इस पे एक एंगल बाइसेक्टर ड्रा करते हैं तो परपेंडिकुलर बाइसेक्टर अब परपेंडिकुलर बाइसेक्टर जब आप ड्रा करोगे कैन सी दिस एंगल वाज गिवन हियर टू बी अल्फा ओके एंड आल्सो ओए इज इक्वल ओबी Okay, so this triangle is an isosceles triangle. When the isosceles triangle is drawn, and you have seen altitude draw here, that means that the median will become this side, ka, AB. This we call point C. Let's say C. Okay. Acha ji. तो ये इतना पोर्शन जो है ये बनेगा अल्फा अपान टू, ओके? अब मैं डिफाइन कर रहा हूँ कोसाइन ऑफ अल्फा अपान टू इन ट्रायंगल एसीओ। सो व्हाट वी विल गेट इस कोसाइन ऑफ अल्फा अपान टू इस ओसी अपान ओए। आई कैन सी व्हाट इस ओसी अगर यहाँ पे हम देखेंगे ये कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर आएगा Z1 प्लस Z2 अपान टू, because the C will be midpoint of AB, ठीक है? Now OC will be magnitude of Z1 plus Z2 अपान टू, and what will be OA? OA will be magnitude of Z1, which is equal to one upon to magnitude of Z1 plus Z2 upon magnitude of Z1. Now, if you square on both sides, we will get cosine square alpha upon 2 is equal to 1 upon over modulus of Z1 plus Z2 whole square upon mod of Z1 whole square okay a more z1 plus z2 this will yield us z1 plus z2 whole square is equal to p square true and you can see if you apply mod here this will be mod of z1 z2 equal to q which implies mod of z1 mod of z2 equal 
Q. Now mod of Z1, mod of Z2 are same. So we can write Z1 whole square is equal to Q. Now you can see this cosine square of alpha upon 2 becomes 1 upon 4 mod of Z1 plus Z2 whole square that is P square upon mod of Z1 whole square that is Q only. Now what is this now? This is P square okay, 4 Q cosine square of alpha upon 2. So we have proved this. P square is equal to 4Q cosine square alpha upon 2. Hope you have understood this. All the very best.